Chucky gets five stars for killing, here's your look at the new Funko Horror five star child's play Chucky. This marks now the third figure that we're having a look at the Funko Horror 5 Star Collection, already having a look at Jason Voorhees and Freddy Krueger. Now I know, I know, I haven't been singing the praises of Funko's new five-star lineup. Maybe, you never know, you never know, maybe this will be the one that turns me around, changes my mind. Before we do anything though, we're of course, while I've been talking, figuring out from the Ultra Metrotron 5000 just how exactly how tall is Chucky. The answer to that is an astounding three inches high, three inches in height. Switching that over to centimeters you would be looking at 7.7 .7 centimeters tall. And because you know I'm all about comparisons, there's Freddy Krueger next to Chucky, and there is Jason. I suppose to the credit of Funko, if credit could be given, none of the figures are using the same molds. They're all various heights, various sizes. Chucky, of course, is a little bit shorter than Jason, and I guess Jason is a little bit shorter than Freddy, that they're all variously scaled from one another. And that, at the very least, is good. For Chucky's accessories, this is something we don't normally see too often. He comes with a little voodoo doll. How about that? A little tiny voodoo doll. Guaranteed it's gonna get lost, but for the time being, we sort of have to suck it up and enjoy the memory of this while we have it and hope and pray that we don't actually lose it. Speaking of voodoos, he also comes with a voodoo knife which has some nice detailing it for, despite the fact it's such a small handle and small bladed knife. Now, surprisingly enough, this is uh, unfortunately reminding me that Jason Voorhees, Voorhees had such a tough time holding his machete. Quite the contrary for Chucky. In fact, you can have him holding both his knife. We'll go ahead and do that right now, put that into his hand. It will sit loose. I mean, I'm not gonna I'm not going to say it's the greatest of job of holding it, but at the very least, he does hold it, and clearly it looks like his accessories were designed for his hand. I'm looking over at you, Jason Voorhees. So at least that's good. And it's nice that we finally get ourselves like a little voodoo doll, because we don't really get voodoo dolls that often when it comes included with Chucky. Few and far between. Okay, a nice little detailing there on the voodoo doll. Hopefully the camera's going to capture it. There we go. Thank you very much, camera. I don't have a name for my camera, but I suppose I seem to name everything else. I'm next, I'm sure, in line will be the name for the camera. Uh, it does have no posability to speak of. It sort of looks like it was crafted out of gum, but don't put that in your mouth. Whatever you do, don't put that in your mouth. And we'll just put that knife out of the way as well. Okay, all right, so having a look at Chucky... I will, yes, admit, I have not been singing the praises of these five-star lineups. I'm, there's just something about them I'm not liking. What is wrong with me, I ask myself. I usually ask myself that loudly inside stores, to which patrons are usually looking over at me, but I don't get what it is about this line that's missing for me not to gravitate towards it. I mean, I'm a horror guy. I like horror films. I like many of the character properties that we've looked at so far for this five-star lineup. In all intensive, for all intensive purposes, I should really like Jason. And I guess I do. You know, since my looking at him, he has grown on me a little bit, despite his small stature. So maybe the line is winning me over. Slowly. Slowly winning me over. Chucky does look good, you know, if you do want, like, a little cuter version of Chucky. And I guess there is a market out there to collectors that want this sort of stuff. For all the realistic stuff that we get from, say, the likes of NECA, there's obviously somebody, there's got to be somebody on the other polar end of that 
who say I want a cuter version of Chucky. And I guess to that regard, he fits that profile. He sort of has all the elements that you would expect from Chucky, right down to the little freckles and the painted on eyebrows. They've also gone in and given him a little bit of pink, a little rouge there, which I guess is one thing I think they could have pulled back a little bit on him. Overlooking for all, you know, all that other stuff, all that other, I'm not crazy about this line. Looking at solely just from the figure standpoint, maybe if they had pulled the pink back a little bit, I feel like it's a little too much. It's a little, he has gotten into someone's makeup kit and he's gone a little crazy. Pull that back a little bit. I think that's about the only thing I would have really changed to it. I'm pretty overall happy with the face sculpt. Kind of again has that cutesy looking version of Chucky going on here. I like the little reflection that they put also in his eyes. Very bright blue eyes as well. And even things, all the stuff that you would expect Chucky to have. The stripings of his shirts, the coveralls with good guys on there. Even like the little buttons have been sculpted in there as well. Uh, unfortunately, though, no under treads. I guess that would be asking a whole lot more than what Nick, than what Funko was willing to put into it. But sadly, the soles have been omitted in favor of just Funko LLC 2018. By the way, anybody who is sort of starting to get on to this five-star bandwagon, they have done also comic versions, comic characters falling into that Five star, five star. I keep thinking I'm thinking Rob Van Dam when I hear five star. Um, there's also, I think, Fortnite five star figures as well. I'd be curious as to why they called it five stars, other than initially I was thinking posability, then quickly realizing, no, you stupid idiot. Five stars has nothing to do with their posability because they only have three points of articulation head, arms, that's it. No legs. No waist, certainly, certainly no waist, and no hands. If they had only put in hand posability, that would at the very least make up two, four, and five, five points of articulation. So again, I'm not really sure what five stars necessarily refers to. I guess it's just something that somebody came up with. Well, we need a new line of Funkos. Don't we have enough, sir? Get out. You, we need a new line of figures. What if we call it five star? Good, you're still employed. Um, again, like there's not really a lot interesting I find still personally to this line, but yet as I continue to look at these, I think Jason is still my favorite. I think I might have balanced back and forth between Jason and Freddy being my all time favorites, at least of this lineup. Chucky is really good for what he is. I'm not going to try to have a biased opinion about things simply because I think Funko didn't need to create this lineup. I guess for what it is, they're decent enough. And yes, they are growing on me. I don't think they're in the same vein yet as the Funko vinyls, but still, I think I'm liking them a little bit more than what I did when I initially looked at solely just Jason Voorhees. Chucky looks good. And to his credit, unlike Jason Voorhees, he has, at least at his disposal, the means, the necessary means, to properly, actually properly hold his accessories. Since starting my tenure, tenure on YouTube, I'll let that sink in for a second. Since starting my tenure on YouTube, many people have sort of thought of me as the horror reviewer. I know I review other things as well, superheroes and knickknacks and all that other stuff in between, but horror seems to be the stuff that you guys come to for, at least on this channel, the most. Views seem to reflect that. So often at times, when it comes to horror collectibles, the new stuff that's hitting the market shelves, I usually are picking them up because I know you guys want to see them. But truthfully, a little part of me as well wants to pick up the newest release of a Chucky, a newest release of a Jason, because I'm a big fan of horror collectibles as a whole. This line sort of started more so because of me wanting to review them, not necessarily from personal interest. From a personal interest standpoint, these can be further from the kind of stuff that I would be interested in picking up. And yet I find myself over the years having picked up Funko Pops, Funko Vinyls, all sort of being cuter renditions of some horror icons that I know and love. But there's something about the five star that has still yet to win me over. Now, before you jump all over me, since looking at Jason, 
And Jason's currently looking over at me thinking, why can't you just love this line? Since looking at Jason, I have to admit I've warmed up to this line a little bit more than when I first started. I get that this is a cuter line, S sort of slated and planned for collectors that don't want realistic renditions of their favorite horror icons, but instead want cuter versions, sort of simplified versions. I guess for that profile, the Funko 5 Star meet all those requirements. They give you accessories, which is kind of like what you get with figures. They give you posability, which you sort of get from figures. And I guess they're one step up from a regular Funko Pop. Admittingly so, yes, I'm still a little bit on the fence about getting this line wholeheartedly on the, you know, as the progression of the line grows. Maybe more releases come out might win me over completely. But right now, I'm sitting at about 43% interested. That's a little bit higher than I was interested when I looked at Jason. And Jason's still looking over at me. Either way, go. if you guys are interested in this lineup, let me know down below. And let me know what it is about the five-star lineup that you guys dig so much. Do you like the fact that they're little smaller, poseable renditions of your favorite horror characters or DC characters or Fortnite characters or whatever it is you're picking the five-star lineup of figures for right now, right now currently? Either way, if you guys are interested in grabbing these for yourself, some good news, they are all in store shelves for the most part. I'm seeing a lot of the DC stuff at local retail. Unfortunately, when it came to the horror stuff that we were looking at right now and looked over the last couple of videos, I had to order these online because my local stores just didn't have them, which kind of is a little bit more of a, a stinger uh, to have to bear because unfortunately, like I said, if I'm not already interested in the line, which again, about 43%, it was even harder to swallow the pill, if you will, by the fact I had to order these online from eBay and pay a little bit extra for them. Maybe that's why I'm a little soured. I don't know. Maybe I have to kind of examine these a little bit further. Either way, like I said, if you guys have picked up any of these for yourself, let me know down below what it is about this line you guys like so much. In the meantime, we have one more figure to get through, and that is the Pennywise. I don't know, maybe by that point, after the Pennywise is all said and done and we're in final looks of Pennywise, maybe that 43% will be moved up to 67%. No, I, I never round up my percentage of interest to the nearest tens. I don't do that. Either way, guys, make sure you hit that little subscribe button down below because certainly more videos will be coming your way. And as I've already alluded to, we're going to be also having a look at the Pennywise from the five-star lineup. 67%. It's good to set goals in life. As always, guys, thanks for watching as you always do, and I'll see you next time.